What's up, YouTube? I'm that dude, not your boy, because I don't like being nobody's boy. Big Boss Burns. I'm gonna show you how and tell you how I made 200 some thousand dollars in the trucking industry my first year. Now, the word is that the trucking game is the new dope game. And if that's the case, label me the kingpin. Now I need you to like, subscribe, and share this video because I always remember this, the game is to be sold and not told. Now listen, the first thing you're gonna need, they always say, if you're going fishing, you need a pole and you need a boat. Where in the trucking game, the first thing you're gonna need, you're gonna either need your own truck or you need access to a truck. I just bought my truck. I own four trucks, but I bought my truck. Now, I just didn't buy any type of truck. That's what people fool you at. They'll tell you you need a truck, but they don't tell you what kind of truck you need. You gotta be very careful with what type of truck you buy. Now, I bought the International 4300. The International 4300 came with a Cummins engine, that DT-466. It's important that you get the right engine because there's a lot of trucks that they're selling out here right now that don't have the right engine, What's gonna happen is it's gonna leave you on the road or it's gonna have your truck sitting up. And if your truck is sitting up, you can't make no money. If your truck break down all the time, your money is going into your truck. You got to buy the right equipment. You got to buy the right truck. And you also too got to have some mechanics on your side because one thing about these companies and these warehouses, they want you to be able to get their stuff on demand. And if you are ready, matter of fact, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Now, in the process of buying the truck, make sure that you get the right engine. Talk to your mechanics so they can tell you what type of truck to get. But in the process of getting your truck, make sure your truck is equipped with certain type of equipment. One of the most important things to make sure your truck got, you wanna make sure you buy not only a 26 foot box truck, cause this is the 26 foot. What you wanna make sure you want to make sure your truck is equipped with the right equipment. And when I say the right equipment, I mean make sure your 26 footer has what they call a lift gate. If you get the right lift gate, the lift gate is going to eliminate a lot of extra people that you don't necessarily need. Because between me and you, that lift gate takes the place of two people. Let me show you what a lift gate is. All right, this is your lift gate. The lift gate is found on the back of your truck. The lift gate purposes is to allow your material to get loaded on the truck. It's also gonna allow your material to come off the truck. It's gonna make it easy to access. So you ain't got to have no ramp action, pulling stuff up a ramp and down a ramp. All you got to do is load your stuff on the lift gate. Lift gate, the lift gate's gonna allow your stuff to come on and off the truck. Next thing you're gonna need after your lift gate, you're gonna need this thing called a dolly. The dolly is going to allow you to bring merchandise that may be boxed up. You can wheel them to your customer's destination or wheel it inside the house, carry it wherever they need. If they want it on the back of the porch, you can carry it on the back. If they want it in front of the house, you can carry it in the front. If they want it in the barn, you can carry it in the barn. Wherever they want it, you with this dolly, you're able to allow yourself to have access and wheel motion to roll the material up in their house. Now, the next thing you're gonna need, because you're gonna be dealing with different warehouses and stuff like that, and most of your merchandise is going to be on these things called pallets. What you're gonna need, you're gonna need a pallet jack. This is a pallet jack. Your pallet jack, for those of y'all that know, your pallet jack is going to allow you to jack pallets up that's in the warehouse, jack them up and put them in your truck. It'll also to jack your pallets up to take it out your truck. The beautiful thing about it, everything works together. The lift gate, the pallet jack, and the dolly. All I'm gonna work together and really, all you need is just yourself to do it. But see, without these materials, you're gonna need some strong hands. But with these materials, they are your hands. Now, what I usually carry on my trucks with my people, I give them this thing right here. This is called shrink wrap. What the shrink wrap is gonna do is when you get some pallets of merchandise that might be loose, 
that's wobbling on the trucks because you got to turn heels or you got to go up and down heels. You got to turn curves. This will wrap your stuff, make it a little bit more tighter so that when you open the back of your truck, stuff is not messed up. It's not spilled over. It'll just give you a little bit more extra comfort. Now, let's talk about the contracts. Now that you got the uh, equipment, Gonna talk about the contracts is one thing I found out that if you got the equipment, people are looking for you to meet the demand. All right, now we're gonna talk about that Yaya, the Moolah, the Zeppendale, mm, the Fettuccine, the cheese. I'm talking about that money. The money basically is based off your contracts. One thing you want to keep in mind. You want to make sure you deal with the contract correctly. There's two types of contracts. Number one can be day-to-day. -day. Number two can be dedicated. Let me tell you what the day-to-day -day is. Day-to-day -day is individuals that's searching the different types of programs, load boards, DAT, uh, searching the load boards, trying to find loads. They might find a load Monday. They might find a load Tuesday but they might look again and might not find anything Wednesday, Thursday, and might pick one up Friday. Okay, that's the day-to-day. -day. Also, too, in the day-to-day, -day, the day-to-day -day is not guaranteed. Remember this, your contract is just like your plugs, fellas. Either they got it or they don't. And y'all know, for those of us that's in the streets, we want to keep some continuously. And if you keep some continuously, that's how you stack your money up. So what I don't go for is the day-to-day. -day. I go for the dedicated. This is my saying. Day-to-day, -day, you're playing. Dedicated, I'm staying. Now, on the dedicated, the dedicated is a company that'll turn around and say, hey, we like your service. If you make us money, we're going to pay you money. Your dedicated plug, your dedicated plug is saying we can give you a contract for a year. Or we can give you a contract until we run out of business. Those are the ones you typically want to go for. If you are an individual that have three, four trucks and you want to keep some employees running. Now, if you're an individual that day-to-day -day is all right with you, then that's your business. But for the individuals that want to keep on running, keep the operation going, you want to make you two, three hundred, some thousand dollars a year, you really want to look into your dedicated. Now, me... I do dedicated and I'll do day to day. Sometimes I can find stuff on the dad board, find stuff on the low board, and also keep trucks running for my dedicated people. Now, your loads can range between 300, 500, 1700, 2200. It depends on what you pick. You got to also remember that in this business, you got to be the boss. If you're not the boss, then somebody's going to boss you. Now, when folks plan, basically, that's individuals telling you to take something somewhere. And when you get there, it's not worth your time nor your pay. All right. The folks that's paying is the folks that you can see and agree with that what they paying, you can see yourself doing it and you can see yourself making money. Remember, the name of the game is to make money. Now, I had Rouse making $1,700 a day. I had Rouse making $1,000 a day. I had Rouse making $550 a day. When you got three and four trucks, all that counts in the pot. Now, key thing to always keep in your mind, always remember, don't get played with how you go out there and slay. Now I need for y'all to like, subscribe, and share this video. And always remember, the game is to be sold, not told.